Hello, all. It's been a while that I've been doing a video. Um, well, going through some of my projects. As you know, Drip is one of my favorites. And I want to do some, some airdrops as well. So this is one of my wallets. I have several and I will do two airdrops today. So sending, I will do a team airdrop, five matching players and each of you will get one drip let's see let's run it so these are the five that will get airdropped sent Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Approve. So here you see one of one of them is already done. And you have to pay a transaction fee for each of them. Don't know why it's unapproved, but doing the next one approve so congrats that's one of all right doing one again so hopefully it will help you with your drip adventure that's it for this airdrop let's see how drip is doing it's dropped a little it it went up from the launch of the animal farm, I think it went to $200 and now it's around 118 still fairly stable around 120 so, well, as you can see in this account, I have 735 drip, earning me at the moment 871 USDT each day. So that's going well. What I what I do is throughout the day, no, in the in the morning I claim and I take some profit. I swap it to BUSD and BUSD I stake in the animal farm. And throughout the day I keep compounding like okay compounding this one so then you reinvest this and it will be put in deposits you pay 5% tax 
when you hydrate. So not the total dot eight drip will be reinvested. As you will see, it will go up to 736. So this is your total deposits, which you cannot withdraw anymore. Available, you can claim and hydrate whenever you want. Those are the total referral rewards I have earned so far. This is the max payout. So this is the maximum drip I can, I can claim. And at the moment, 693 drip claimed. This is the team. And what you can do is you can get your play info. You click on copy your wallet address. You paste it in here. You say, okay, go. And here you see also some information. The net deposits is important because it has to be positive. And if it's positive, you still get uh, rewards. Otherwise, uh, you won't receive any rewards. So this is the total drip airdrop I've sent. This is the total airdrop I have received. Okay, let's go to my other drip wallet account. I will do an air here. I've just set this one up, I think a couple of weeks ago. Um, you can still be my buddy, my teammate, and you can use the link below this video. As I said, I will do an airdrop here as well. Use my address between five matching players. Okay, run. Let's see, the budget is four. Run. Let's see, net deposits five. Okay, here you click. Ah. So dot eight will be received by each of you. Okay, send. Approve. After that, this I will continue with the status of some of my other projects. But first I have to approve each airdrop for each team member. You have to approve it separately in a transaction. <coughs> All right. Approve, approve, approve. So these have a little drip at the moment, so that's good. I will support you with that. Try to do it as much as possible, such airdrops. As you might know already, I'm a big fan of drip. I started from the beginning and it's still paying out each day, 1% daily. Unbelievable. And the price of drip is still great. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. Okay, going to S-Fund staking. 
this one is also well doing its thing it's uh, yeah it's making me money i see i still have some lp tokens to stake so what i usually do is i harvest and i buy some s fund bnb take tokens again and we invest that so let's do that harvest approve it failed because i have to re-enter my ledger again yeah because when i was hacked a couple of months ago i bought my ledger my hardware wallet so it's much safer okay harvest success then you go to pancake swap to buy those s fund bnb tokens you go to liquidity you will be adding liquidity here you can select s fund and by the way if you cannot select it yet in your wallet what you always can do is you go to coin gecko at least that's what i'm doing searching for s fund here you find a lot of information about the the price of s fund so as you can see it's still doing well and here you get you have the contract information this is important because you are working on the Binance Smart Chain. You have to copy that contract address. Um, in this case, S Fund is only available on the Binance Smart Chain. So that's why it's not available on other blockchains. But you have to be careful. If it is available, you have to be sure that it's you select the contact address of the Binance Smart Chain. You copy it go back select and here you can paste that address As you can see i have already added it to my list but it should show up here you can select s fund here i want to pair it with bnb by the way why i see the balance is zero that should not be the case or hmm, what's happening here i think i'm uh, it's the wrong wallet address here go back here here you see it's i was looking at the wrong wallet address select max it will automatically show up how many bnb you will need because this amount of money should be the same as the other one so for instance if you would have paired it with busd hmm, there is no huh? it would you, you would need around 6 B Binance US dollars in this case. But for staking within S funds, you need the S fund BNB pair. The ratio will set the price of this token. Well, it should reload it probably. Here we go. Then you press supply. 
here you will get information about okay how much S fund you deposit how much BNB and this will be the share of that liquidity pool you confirm you also confirm the transaction here it shows cake LP but it's yeah that's how that's the way how PancakeSwap works but it's actually of course the S fund BNB liquidity pool token it's pending it's ready so what you did here is you added the liquidity to this pool and you received LP tokens for it those LP tokens you can stake within cdfi.fund and you will see will receive 152% APY here you can see the balance is also waste of my LP tokens now I will stake them I press max of course you can change it to whatever you want confirm approve so that's basically all I have to say about this investment of mine let's go to Posey the price of Posey has raised you can check it here I always use Poolcoin for that as you can see it went up again it went down to 1.5 now it's up to 2 again why well probably of those bonds so what are bonds well as you can see you can buy bonds here with a fixed APR the percentage rate this is how much such a bond cost this is the price that is paid and huh, that you will get back after the period you can press purchase Uh, let's see it's on sale phase uh, the price is 8.5 posy yesterday I tried to buy it, buy some but then I noticed this one the limit for each purchase is 1000 un units against a price of 8.5 so <laughs> that would make 8 around eight and a half thousand posy and a posy is two dollars so that's that was too much for me what i am in is the vault again in, the, uh, in this case the pusd vault i put in some a thousand dollars yesterday it keeps auto compounding so that's nice you have to be aware that underneath this this is actually the BUSD posy um, uh, farm as you can see here 
so it's not so that that's why this this amount is not fixed yeah, you are you must be aware of impermanent loss here as well yeah, but you can stake it here here it also explains it where you can see what is impermanent loss you will be a liquidity provider and so the price of POSI can vary a lot. B Binance BUSD is of course much more stable. So that makes it a fairly medium risk investment. But I recommend that you read this if you don't know yet what impermanent loss is. If you do, you can confirm it. Here you can Let's do this. You can um, you can input your the, the amount of BS, BUSD you want to invest. You can enter a referral code. You can use mine. That would be nice to support me. <laughs> I will leave the link, the, the referral code below, below this video as well. You press stake. As you can see, you have the, the vault with a network fee. So this is the transaction fee you have to pay, but it's the max. So that's this is not the actual transaction fee you, you will pay. And for, for this example, I will confirm normally I would not do this because I always I almost pay more I almost paid the same amount of transaction fee as well the, the number of BUSD I invest but just to show as an example I press confirm approve the transaction And so this is one of the possibilities you can stake within this BUSD vault. Normally you, because I already invested, first you have to approve this. What you also can do is migrate BUSD POSI to this vault. So you can buy a POSI BUSD LP token on PancakeSwap, then use that to stake. What you also can do is, okay, I, will, I have already some BUSD and POSI in my wallet, and then automatically it will migrate this amount to LP tokens. What I normally, what I also am in is the NFT pool, which has a nice APY. So how is this working? Well, I will show you, I will first harvest some and with, with this new, with this harvested posy, I will buy a new NFT token and stake that again. So here you can harvest. Note that you pay 5% fee. Normally I, I wait a little, bit, a little bit longer before I harvest. But, but this is to show the example. I see I already have 14 posy into my wallet now. Okay, so now I buy some NFT again. You go to NFT, cast NFT. And what it will do, it will and you have to, this is the available balance now. 
here you put the amount of money of Bozi you want to invest and then randomly you get one of those six characters of which the farmer has well the, the lowest multiplier and the boss I've never received a boss it has the highest multiplier and um, by multiplier I mean um, well I will show you you pressed cast also as you will notice um, your NFT will be locked between 25 and 45 days confirm approve the transaction let's see okay I've got a janitor it's locked for 27 days it's the second it's the second NFT mining efficiency is 125 um, well, as you noticed, I, ins I invested 14 POSI, but I will, the mining efficiency will be 70 POSI or, or 125%. So that's what I meant with the multiplier. What you now can do is go back to the NFT pool. Press stake. Now you can select the one. So you will receive um, APY earnings for this amount of POSI now. So that's why if you got a boss, you, get, you have more mining efficiency. But as said, this is randomly selected. So you've you will not have a say in this. Okay, it's staked. There is also another way to get NFTs and that's by buying them on the market. As you can see here, maybe there is a boss, no, no record found, an engineer. A pilot, there is even a pilot. So here you see that the par value, that's the value somebody invested, the mining power. So it will unlock in 20 days this one. So you can you can yeah you can buy this one if you like. Well that's what I wanted to say about this project let's go to the last one i want to mention now that's titano it's um, a rebase project of which well they got hacked a couple of days ago as you can see it dropped but it's going up again and what was nice about it, it was um, they had a play contract in it. And that, that, that contract was hacked, not this one, fortunately. But the play was hacked. Um, I got around 15,000 Titano in it. But they airdropped it back to me, the project. So that was, that was great. As you can see, the price is up again. Um, it will rebase each 30 minutes and within your account you will see your, er your daily earnings, what your Titano balance is and this is the daily ROR of 1.9, so almost 2%. Yes, this is really doing great as well. Well, next time I will talk about Bad Fury, uh, Buy Swap, 
um, the animal farm well let's let's go to the animal farm quickly I invest in the drip BUSD the dogs uh, dogs BUSD dogs uh, BNB pairs I invested heavily in this one because I used the drip garden for that each morning I harvest some and the rest of the day I keep compounding I have uh, 2,000 more than 2,000 plants now it's making me good money so I compound this one <coughs> Approve the transaction. I'm also into these pools, the BUSD pool, and of course the big pen in which you stake your pigs and earn BUSD. Well, that's it for today. Have a nice weekend. And as I always say, be safe.